We had an absolute blast out here hunting a couple days ago on late lakes. We hunted a lot of times with the 22 Hornet and we also hunted for some really cool animals where we wanted to kind of test out what the ability was with this 22. But anyways, you guys absolutely love that video so much that I thought we'd come back out here today and kind of do something a little bit similar. While we're sitting here waiting for the deer to come in, we spotted a giant mallard duck. In fact, he's a die potential mallard duck and he's out there 400 yards away. I can't even really show you what he's gonna score right now but now you can see the estimate 17 to 20 and he weighs three to four pounds so that right there is a dime potential mallard duck but we're talking 400 plus yards i've never taken a shot that far with the 22 hornet but we're about to find out now i know the first dot down is about 280 so that means probably between the second and third dot down Oh man, he flew. There was actually quite a bit of ducks in there. We were nowhere even near hitting that duck. Well, can't get him if you don't try. So that makes me think that if we probably use the fourth dot down, Actually, technically it'd be the third dot down because the crosshair doesn't really count as a dot, but the third dot down should be about where you want it. Oh, what do we got out there? A giant bull moose 460 yards out. Oh my God, that was super far. I think we smoked him though. I think we absolutely smoked that bull. First off, we're really high up on the hill and I was holding for kind of right where the spine meets the lung, which we might have been a tad bit low had we been on level grounds with that bull. But since we're so high up in an elevated position, I feel like that should have been almost perfect. What do you guys see right there? What do you guys see? That's hunting pressure. And it says 480 yards. 480 yards we just smoked that huge bull moose all right here we go again let's try this one more time we got a duck out here at about 360 this time and so got him that's what i thought baby <laughs> we smoked him so that was actually between the first dot and the second dot and we drilled that mallard duck. I do believe he's a gold potential as well. So that was pretty cool. Technically, we just got two golds out of this tree stand. That gold bull moose and this gold mallard duck. Well, I was hoping we'd see some whitetail here, but I suppose it probably didn't help too much. The fact that we've been shooting with the 22 and the 303 bolt action rifle not too long ago. We got another duck out there at about 380. But we're going to hold off on him because I'm really hoping that we do see some whitetail out here. This is an absolute phenomenal spot and a great location for whitetail. Typically, they like to come out here and feed around 1230 until uh, 1300 and i haven't seen one single deer here so i think we might get down and pick these up and head to the next location all right here we go our drake meller duck laying right here let's have a look at him it's gonna be a gold a 16.10 gold we took him at 350 yards and we hit him absolutely perfectly now we really should have way more penetration than that we hit him right in the wing bone but in reality if you have a 17 or a 22 hornet you're gonna go right through that wing bone and penetrate into the lung for sure nonetheless we got ourselves a nice black brown gold drake mallard duck at 350 yards now this moose might be a little bit difficult to find because we use the 303 bolt action rifle and it's not exactly the most powerful rifle Typically, you'd want to hunt moose with like the 300 bolt action or a 338, a 7 millimeter. Oh, another moose! Another moose! Ooh. Oh, 
give me another shot. Oh, <laughs> that was a gut shot. Um, I don't really want to spot them because I don't want to lose sight of the other bull that we took out of the tree stand at about 460 yards. So that's why I didn't spot that bull, but I can't imagine he's going to go too far from that shot. That first shot was perfect. Hey, look at this. Take a look over here. I was just saying how it might be kind of difficult to find that big bull. And we go over this ridge here and I see this massive rack sticking up. And that is our big old gold bull moose laying right here. Let's have a look at this beautiful bull. He's a massive one. He's super, super wide and has some good paddles. He doesn't have like a ton of mass, but you know what? He's a good, good bull. Let's have a look and pick him up. That's going to be a 217 gold. And we pulled off a walking 460 yard shot on that bull. And you see what I mean by kind of, I thought we were a little bit too low, but because we were so high up, that we actually didn't really have a ton of drop. In fact, we had a little bit of elevation to our shot there. So we smoked him at 460 yards. And there he is, a 217 gold bull. And if you look right there, that's gonna be our second bull that we just took down right now. He didn't go another 50 yards after that second shot. So I believe we probably did get a lung and an intestine hit on this bull here. Yeah, we did hit him two times. First shot was a perfect right lug shot as he was quartering away there, but not a ton of penetration. 77 yards and a 163 moose. Okay guys, so I just jumped up a beautiful white tail buck. He was super wide, really tall, and had a ton of mass. I couldn't tell exactly how big he was because he was running through this thick brush here. All I know is he's definitely hanging out in this area. So what I decided to do is come back here and set up a tree stand right here. And it's gonna be kind of overlooking where he should be feeding, which is right about here, maybe 50 yards away from us. So what I wanna do is come back here in the morning and I'm hoping we get eyes on this giant whitetail buck. What he does is he actually beds back up in here. So essentially he should come over here at about 40 yards, cross pass right here, and that will put him at about 20 yards, which will give us a really good opportunity to take the shot right out of the tree stand. That's my plan. Is it gonna work? I really don't know. And that's hunting. You don't know if it's gonna work. But you gotta come up with plans because eventually one of them's gonna work. It's just like women. The more you talk to, the better your odds are of getting a girlfriend. If you don't talk to very many, then you probably aren't gonna get one. All right, guys, we're back up in the tree stand right now. It's early the next morning and we got a bunch of whitetail coming past us here. We got a small buck there, a little bit bigger of a buck there, and then we have a couple does here. And I haven't had eyes on the giant yet, but he shouldn't be too far away. We're definitely not going to take this one. But if I don't see that big buck and the other one comes in, we might take him because he's pretty decent. That buck there's pretty decent. I don't know where the giant whitetail is. I mean, he's got to be around here somewhere, right? Can't imagine him not being here. Look at how perfect this is, though. He's going to walk right underneath us. I mean, I really don't think we could pass this up, guys. He's a good buck. He's a great buck. There's no way I'm passing. Oh, my God. That's him. That's him. Oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Okay. I was trying to double up, but we're getting a little bit too greedy, guys, because our giant buck is coming in. And there he is right there. Oh my god. <gasps> what a beast of a buck. What an incredible rack. He's 25 yards out right there. A super, super wide buck. We're going to draw back. And we're going to have to hold a little bit forward on him as he's walking. We smoked him. He's down. We dropped him at 25 yards. Okay, you know what? We might be able to try and get this other buck as well. I'm not really too concerned about it, but... <sighs> oh, he finally came out and walked right past exactly how I thought it was going to work. Exactly.
he's way bigger than I thought. I didn't know he was, I mean, I knew he was big. I knew he was big, but I didn't know he was that big. Like he's way, way bigger than what I thought. I'll be honest about that. He's a giant. Let's go over here and have a look at this beast of a white tail buck. Man, his rack is just so cool. And you know what? Let's take a cool picture of this thing. Because we got him right out of the tree stand, right at that angle right there. And that is going to look amazing just like that. Tell you what, let's pick him up. He's a diamond! A 257.10 diamond whitetail buck. I can't say that I'm surprised though because he was absolutely incredible looking. As he came up over that ridge, I could tell how wide he was. And I knew he was definitely a giant. Got a perfect right lung liver stomach shot at 22 yards out. Right out of the tree stand there. Take a look at that shot placement. Man, what a great, phenomenal diamond whitetail buck that is well guys i'll tell you what i'm super pumped about having that giant diamond whitetail down but there's also another really good buck here and i wouldn't mind getting him in fact i kind of tried to get him before that big buck came in which it was not the greatest idea i got a little bit too excited about that moment there and i tried to double up and i probably should have just focused on the big buck first that's what i tell everybody to always focus on the big buck first because they're the smartest ones no matter what, put all your energy into getting that big buck down first and then work your way towards the next size buck. That's what you should do. And I got a little too excited, but at least we kind of, you know, figured out a way to calm down and focus on getting that big one down. And we definitely made it happen. But with that being said, we're going to come back here in the morning again and try and get this other big buck because he's a very, very impressive whitetail. As we're heading back to our stand in the morning, we just kicked up a real nice male coyote here. He's trotting through here about 80 yards out. Well, we've been sitting here for a little while now and there's no sign of this coyote anywhere. So I don't know if he trotted off the opposite direction or what, but he is definitely not coming back this way. That's what I know for sure. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes right there, guys. I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath or I would have taken that shot. Here we go. Come on, coyote. Don't go behind that grass. Either way, he should step out right about here. There he is. There he is. Keep an eye on him. You can barely see him. This seriously has to be one of the luckiest coyotes ever. Oh, look at that. A bull just came walking out right in front of where that coyote should be. But yeah, the last place I saw that coyote was right there. I saw his head stick out and I haven't seen him since. Like, there's no way he crossed past us here. There's another bull. Holy, look at all the animals. But that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the big coyote. If it was a bigger bull, we'd probably take it, but it's just a level three. That's him. We drilled him. I went for a heart shot and we got it. We got him, baby. He's going down. That's how hard these things are to see. He snuck in all the way to about 50 yards out and he was sitting there looking right at us. And if we went to take in the shot, he would have been gone. So not like I really wanted to take a front on shot like that. But if that's the shot we have, we're going to take it. Again, like I said before, it takes quite a while for the percentage to drop down with the 22 Hornet um, if you only get a single lung on the Coyote. So I really don't want to press him too far. We're going to slow down a little bit here and check the blood out. And you can see right there, that's a really good hit. Definitely a nice vital hit on that Coyote. But they run a good ways. Last time we hit the one in the lung, he ran 250 yards from a lung hit. So we're going to give him a little bit of time to go down and then we're going to go pick him up. All right, it's been a little while now, and we're going to go find our coyote. Here he is laying right here. Wow, he actually didn't go that far. He went maybe like 80 yards. There's no way he went 100 yards. There's absolutely no way. Compared to the last one that we shot, there's no way this thing went 100 yards. But that's actually a really cool pose there, and I want to get a picture of this. But nonetheless, let's pick him up and see how we did. What? Oh, he missed being a gold by 0.3. I 
I'm like, okay, that should be a gold. Anyways, he's a silver. A really cool looking one, though. A dark gray male coyote. We pulled off a left lung shot. I was going right for the heart. We were a tad bit high, but still a perfect shot. 58 yards and a nice left lung on a really cool dark gray male coyote. Well, we're heading back to our tree stand to find the white tail, and we got a call from a big bull right down over this ridge here. So we're going to tuck in this brush, and I hope that he steps out and we can see him over the top of that grass there. I don't know if we're going to be able to see him or not, but we can definitely see him if we stand up. But I just don't know if we do that, if we'll have any cover. Yeah, that's what I thought. We're not going to have any cover. Um, we'll see. If we have to, we'll stand up, come to full draw. But hopefully we can just take him as we're crouched. Oh, he's definitely heating up, though. He is definitely fired up. Any second now, he's going to step out of those trees. Oh my god, I see him, I see him. Here he comes. Oh, here he comes. What a beautiful bull. That's like a 330 plus right there. He's about 40 yards out from us. Ooh, he's a giant. 40 yards out. Gotta get him to step out just a little bit more and we'll be able to take the shot. It doesn't get much better than that. It doesn't get much better than that. I really don't want to call too much because a lot of times if they get too fired up, they'll come trotting in and we really don't want that. But at the same time, we don't want to lose his interest. There's definitely something coming behind us. Oh my god, there he is! Holy, there he is! Oh, we smoked him! <gasps> He's going down. I was actually a little bit forward on that shot there. I'm not going to lie. He was pretty broadside. If he was quartering at us, it would have been perfect. But because he was so broadside, I was a tad bit forward. But we definitely drilled him. So let's go get him. And here he lays right here. Look at his rack sticking up. Man, he's a great, great bull. As I said before, we're on the way to our whitetail stand where we have another great whitetail buck. But along the way this guy called and i looked and i saw his rack and i thought man that's a beautiful bull we gotta go after him so we did that and here he lays right here a great great bull let's pick him up that's gonna be a 305 gold roosevelt elk and we smoked him at 18 yards away so actually now that i think about it and now that i'm looking at it right now it was a perfect shot we didn't even hit the shoulder blade. I thought I thought we were actually like right here, which would have been a little bit iffy, but we were right here. We were right there, which honestly was perfect. He was absolutely smoked. At 20 yards away, a beautiful double lung shot and a giant 300 plus gold bull elk. I think I found him. That's going to be him right there, guys. He's got a really wide rack. In fact, there's a couple deer, one right there and one right there. We're looking at about 40 yards out from us here. I could just barely see some movement. And this deer is right here, 20 yards away. But if you look straight directly back, that's where these bucks are at right there. Now it's just a matter of trying to get his attention to get him to come out and step into range. Uh, that worked almost too good. That literally worked so good. That's our buck. That's our buck, guys, right there. 17 yards away, right below us. I can't believe how good that just worked. Still don't quite have a shot. 
almost have one right there, but not quite. We got a lot of brush here we got to be careful of. Well, unfortunately, that last buck never came into range. He was kind of in range, but he got downwind and he spooked and uh, we never saw him again. I tried to call him back in, but you know what? It just didn't work out. Anyways, I found an even bigger buck, so it actually worked out in a good way. He is, I believe, the buck right there. Now, I keep spotting a doe, but I just spotted a buck. Oh, there's like five deer there. Holy, it's a lot of deer. One of these is a big buck. Now we gotta try and figure out how we're gonna get a shot off on this thing. What I might do is try and throw up a tree stand in this tree here, if it will let me. Perfect. That should work out just fine. All right, there we go. And we're in. Ooh, there we go. And there we go. That's our buck. That's our big buck, guys, right there. 250 yards out. Another buck there. Doe and another doe there. But that is our beautiful whitetail buck. All right, I think we're gonna take the shot. Smoked him. We got him. And that was a pretty smart buck. That was a pretty smart buck indeed. <laughs> Did you see that? We spawned underneath the water and got knocked out because our stand is actually on a tree that is completely submerged with water. In case you're wondering where we're hunting right now, we're over here by Lake and Lowe's on the very northwest end of the map, this little lake right here. And that is where we just took down this beautiful whitetail buck. And here he lays right over here. Let's have a look at this beautiful whitetail. All right. That's going to be a 221 gold. We got a double lung liver shot at 220 yards. A beautiful whitetail and an awesome shot. And that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We had a ton of fun today. We took down a giant diamond whitetail, a coyote, even a big old bull. And now we just got a beautiful whitetail out of the tree stand at 220 yards with a 303 bolt action rifle. But that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.